Let's go over an example of using unwind during our aggregation pipeline. Now, if you remember, we had the blog posts homework. We gave you a pretty big blog post data set. And here I'm going to show you one of the elements from that blog post data set. I'm just suppressing the comments because it makes it a little bit longer. You can see here that it's uh, got an underscore ID and the body, and it looks like this one is the Declaration of Independence. And then we have the author, which was the machine, and then a bunch of tags, which I pretty much randomly took from a bunch of nouns that I got off the, the net. Now let's say you wanted to go through these, these blog posts and count the number of times that each tag appears in a post, or how many posts were tagged with each tag. So we can do that using an, an aggregation query. We're going to unwind these tags, and then we're going to group by the tag and count. So let's look at how that works and run it. So here's my aggregation query to unwind based on tag. So let's go through it piece by piece. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these, these posts and we're going to unwind them. We're going to unwind the tags array. And now we're going to group by the tag and we're going to count how many times each tag appears using dollar sum one. Now I want to figure out which, is, which are the most popular. So what I'm going to do here is sort them by count minus one. And now I want the top 10. So I'm going to limit them to 10. And then I want it to be pretty. So I'm going to reshape the document using project. I'm going to drop the underscore ID key. And I'm going to create a new one called tag, which is just the underscore ID key. I, I basically, this is a rename of the underscore ID key, dropping it and then creating a new one with its value. And then include the count. Let's see what happens when we do that. Blog tags.js. All right. So we did that. What we get is the result. And we see that the most popular tag was Sphinx with 13 uses, and then Lunchroom with 12, and then Crowd with 11. And it goes down from there. Actually, these are all about the same. Now, I used a random number generator to evenly distribute the tags across the posts. So it's not too surprising that they'd be all about the same, given that's how we did it. The distribution should be pretty equal. Let's do a quiz. And we haven't talked about this. So you'll need to think about it for a second. Which grouping operator will enable you to reverse the effects of an unwind? How would you re reverse the effects of an unwind? Think about that for a second. And you can try different grouping operators in the Mongo shell to do this. 